Hey yo, hey everyone, Andrew here bringing you another video review and today we're going to be doing the new Teen Titans, who is Donna Troy. Take a look at this cover. Now Donna Troy is the original Wonder Girl and she is a key member of the Teen Titans through many of their incarnations. Now Donna's history in the DC Universe has always been shrouded in mystery. We don't know who she is, where she's from, or what she was before she was Wonder Girl. Donna doesn't even know her and it's a quest in her life to find out who she really is. This graphic novel tries its best to give us some of the key elements of her backstory. It doesn't give us everything, there's still more to Donna Troy that isn't revealed in this, that is revealed in other DC stories. However, that doesn't mean it's bad, it just means that it leaves out a few key things. So at the end of this review, I'm going to piece together all of Donna Troy's history, and try to put everything together, at least to help you guys out. Now, the story starts off with in three parts. The first part would be the wedding of Donna Troy. Now, Donna has been going out with Perry for a long time, and you would know this if you read any of the other New Teen Titans graphic novels. And I really like their relationship because it feels so real. It feels so natural. It feels like a real relationship. They have their problems, but they're very supportive and they're very loving of each other. They have their up and downs, but again, that's with most relationships. And see, Donna wants to know about who she is before she can get married. She wants to know who she is before she can give herself to someone else. So with the help of fellow Teen Titan member, Dick Grayson, who is now Nightwing, he goes out on a mission to find out who Donna Troy is. As kind of a wedding gift. He doesn't even get help from anyone, not even Donna herself. He goes above and beyond the duty to find out who she is. It's because Dick loves her as a friend. They have such a history together, so he'll do anything for her. And it's just beautiful, the friendship that they have. By hook or crook and through so much detective work, Dick Grayson is able to piece together what Donna Troy's history is. And he reveals it to her, and she is forever thankful. And then we go into the wedding, which is just beautiful, and it, it's just an amazing story, the wedding itself. The first two stories, the history of Donna Troy, the detective work with Dick Grayson, and the um, wedding itself, beautiful stories, well written. Art was beautiful. Again, George Perez and Rob Wolfman doing what they do best. Make great Titan stories. It may not have a lot of action, but it was just a nice story on a whole. Then we move forward a bit of time. And Donna Troy's history gets a little addition to it. See, the Titans come in. Not the Teen Titans, but the Titans of Greek mythology. We find out that they were banished by Zeus and sent to another world, where a spell was put on them that they could not escape. They plucked children from different planets, 12 children, and made them Titan Seed. Donna Troy was one of them, and she was plucked from the Earth around the time of the fire. This is where she's given her powers, the Titans train her, and make her into what she is today. They send her back to Earth and erase her memory, and that is where she becomes Wonder Girl. See, the Titans need the Titan Seed, the children, to free them of the spell, to rejuvenate them. Unfortunately, the Titan Seeds are being killed off one by one by one of the only Titan Seeds that know who they are. Donna Troy, along with the Teen Titans, do the best they can to help out the Titans of Greek mythology. And they are successful, ending the chapter of that story and adding a bit more to Wonder uh, Girl's history. The last chapter is Wonder Girl's funeral. Now, see, Donna Troy dies eventually. And uh, don't worry, she comes back to life, as with most comic book heroes. Uh, she dies fighting, I believe, Superman's robot. And the funeral here is just touching. It just shows how much everyone loved Donna Troy. How she was just a, I want to say, a gentler Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is always gentle and kind and compassionate. But Wonder Girl was a little bit more so than Wonder Woman was. And it just shows how much everyone loves her. And it was such a touching funeral. And I really loved it. So that was the stories in of themselves. So let me just give you all of Wonder Girl's history right now. Or at least Donna Troy, there's been more than one Wonder Girl. Donna Troy was created to be a playmate of Wonder Woman by the Dark Angel. And a curse was put on her that when she dies, she lives all these multiple lives. It was kind of a joke by the Dark Angel. Um, and eventually she comes to the life where she is born by her mother in the New Earth continuity. Eventually her mother dies and she is adopted by her, um, her foster parents. The fire happens, and instead of Wonder Woman saving her, it is the Titans that save her. 
The Titans take her in, raise her, and give her her powers. And then they bring her back to Earth and erase her memory. She then becomes Wonder Girl and everything else happens. She finds out about her history and she dies and eventually she comes back to life. Uh, so that's Donna Troy's history in its whole. The only thing that they excluded from this was the information about the Dark Angel. But that's about it. Everything else was kind of thrown in here. Now to the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Good. Um, again, they explain Donna Troy's history beautifully, and it's not like they say, well, this is her history, ah, forget it, let's do this instead. No, this is her history, let's add this on to her history, and let's add this on. It's not like they're totally forgetting everything that happened beforehand, they're just adding on to it, which was very nice, and it made it easier for the reader to grasp, it's not as confusing. Uh, the story was very well written, George Perez and Marv Wolfman do what they do best, great Titan stories. Um, and very touching moments in it. I have to say, my favorite part is the first two stories. And then the last story is nice. Uh, the Titan story was very fun, but it wasn't the best one. It was the first and the last stories that were nice. And I love Donna Troy. She's one of my favorite Titan members. It's kind of funny because Batman's my favorite superhero, and Wonder Woman's my second favorite superhero. And Dick Grayson's my favorite Titan, and Donna Troy's my second favorite Titan. And it kind of goes hand in hand. But, um... How she's portrayed in this very nice, and it, it, as much as you think this would be a Donna Troy only story, this is a Titan story too, and a lot of the Titans get involved in it. Um, and it, it does cover all of Wonder Woman's, uh, Wonder Girl's backstory. Downside, uh, like I said before, not everything is revealed here about Donna Troy's backstory. You need to go a little bit further out and buy other comics to find out who she really is. Now, I did give you the full story here, but I do just suggest going online and checking it out, or buying some of the other stories to find out about her information. Uh, besides that, that's the only bad I can think of with this story. The New Teen Titans were a fantastic story. This does a good job with Donna Troy, um, and I do recommend picking it up. I recommend picking it up for Titan fans. I don't think normal comic book fans will enjoy this as much as Titan fans or Wonder Girl fans will. Like I said, I love Wonder Girl. She's my second favorite Titan, and um, I enjoy this thoroughly. Uh, this may not be for everyone, but if you enjoy um, the Titans, or if you enjoy Marv Wolfman and George Perez's work, then you will enjoy this. It is a great story, and it does answer many of the questions that have been burning in our heads up until this point. So with that said, I'm going to end the review there. Um, who is Donna Troy? Great Titan story. If you like the Teen Titans, Pick it up. With that said, this is Andrew saying peace out for now.